This is part two in a series of tutorials covering how to create a simple form with PHP and MySQL. All right, in the previous video, we created our uh, tables. We created a members table, forms table, and a form post table, and we added some sample data. So we added, if we go ahead and click browse right here, cre uh, create our first form for description, and then we created our first post okay all right so let's go ahead and go into Dreamweaver and start working on our index.php uh, page and on this page we're going to display each of our form posts so let's go ahead and go to the top of the page okay PHP tags and let's go ahead and connect to our database we can go ahead and do db equals new mysql improved Let's do localhost oh. localhost username root not using a password on this and we we'll do the database Forum or of connection. Let's save that. Go into Google Chrome. All right. Save. Back into Chrome. All right, no errors. All right, let's go ahead and take this and put this within its own file. I want to call it DB Connect. So, because we're going to need to make a connection on multiple pages. So, instead of typing that out, we can just include the PHP file. Get rid of all of that. Copy. Save that. Exit out of that. And let's just go to require. Okay. All right. So we got that in there. We also got to add to the start uh, at, the, at the beginning. We need to do session start because we're going to have a you know login me mechanism for our members. So we're going to need, uh, and we're going to store that information and credentials in, within the session. So we need to have that. What else do we need? Uh, let me see. Okay, let's just go ahead and uh, build our query to grab the forms from the database. So we can do SQL equals select uh, what do we, exactly do we name these? We're going to select the 
the form ID, the form name, and form description. All right, so let's go ahead and go back here. Form ID, form name, from form table all right so we got that we can do if query equals db prepare SQL. So if this works, we're going to do query find result. So what this function would do is take um, what we're looking for, so the form ID, form name, form description, and bind them to the variables of our choosing. So I can do FID for form ID. Form name. Form description. Actually, you know what? We don't need to grab this. We don't need a description. Delete this as well. Because we're just going to be displaying the names. And then we do query do else Echo DB error. Okay, let's go ahead and refresh this. All right, so now we know there's nothing wrong with that. Let's go down here and let's go ahead and create a Div, we'll give it an ID of container. Keep it simple. We're going to display our uh, forms in a table. Yeah, I can do this with divs and do some fancy CSS stuff, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and display it in a table, keep it nice and easy. We can do something like, let's do this, PHP if query num rows does not equal zero. I'm going to run a while loop. Row equals query fetch. Okay, so what this is going to do is if the total num rows does not equal zero, we're going to fetch these variables right here all right so and then we're going to display them like this t row this is a php short tags for echo do 
f name okay and then we can do php and while and if all right so let's save that go back into chrome refresh okay we seem to have a problem This will actually work. Hmm. Okay, I figured out what I'm what I did wrong. Uh, since I'm using uh, a prepared statement and I'm checking to see the number rows. I forgot to add something very important. It's query after execute go query store result. What this allows me to go ahead and get at um, to use this function num uh, num rows. So if I come back here and I hit refresh, we have our uh, form. So let's go ahead and create this as a link so that we can go to uh, or access the, the threads within that form. So I'm gonna do a href. I'm gonna to go to form.php. I'm gonna do id equals php echo. Form ID. And then we'll put this here. Okay, let's do something like this align, center. Center this. All right, save that. Refresh. There we go. So this will go ahead. Up. Oh, we can see. If you look at the bottom, I think we have an error here. So let me go ahead and. I call this FID. All right, so let's go ahead and create the form.php page. What we can do is we're going to copy all of this, new file. PHP. Save. All right, open this, paste, and then let's go ahead and uh, we can get rid of, oh, just notice, didn't close the table tag. Save that. All right, and then let's just go ahead and do something like this. We can get rid of this. And then we can do, just to see if this works. Get ID, so we're gonna echo this. Let's see if this works. 
Hit refresh here. Okay, so now we know that our links work. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave off here today. And then the next one, we're gonna go ahead and uh, display all of our thread posts. And then from there, uh, we're gonna also get into some of the CSS to make this look a little bit better. All right, see you next time.